Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today you'll get to see how I decorate for fall and I'm so excited to show you guys our home. This video is kind of long, so definitely go ahead and grab yourself a fall themed snack and enjoy the fall vibes in this video. If I still have your attention and you'd like to see how I make my home cozy for fall, just go ahead and keep on watching. Starting when you walk in the front door in our little foyer area over here, I just have this little chest right here with all my little fall things set up. I have these two little signs hanging next to it. Those are from the Dollar Tree and this picture frame here. This is us last year at the pumpkin patch here in Florida. And this pumpkin right here is from the Dollar Tree, same as these hay bales and that scarecrow back there. I've had him for a long time. Um, the sign is from Marshalls. This crate right here, my mother-in-law got me for my birthday recently that just passed on the 28th of August and I love it so much. So I figured I would put the little twinkle lights inside and flip it upside down and put this stuff on top. This little fake plant here, that is from the Dollar Tree as well and so are the pine cones. And then I got um, these little corn stalks. I've had these for a long time. I don't even remember where I got them. I think I got them from the pumpkin patch a couple years ago, but I just keep reusing them. And then this galvanized um, steel jug here with the eucalyptus plant inside. And then going into this drawer down here, in this other one I just have like kitchen cooking books, but in this one I just got this happy home sign from my mother-in-law for my birthday also, and I love it so much. It's like this big block. I love it. And then I just have a fake flower here from the Dollar Tree, and then my basket with all my fall scents in it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out because I just got some more candles. So since I did the fall haul video, um, I went ahead and got five more candles and I had to go back to Marshall's and check if they had some more mold cider and they did and I grabbed the last two that they had and I'm so excited. Um, these were only $9.99, I think I said that in the haul video, but you cannot get that deal for this size candle with the Village candle. Usually these go for like $19.99. So. Um, it was definitely a steal, and I love this scent. So I got two of the mold cider. And then from Michael's, I picked up a salted caramel. And then this one is a fall picnic, and the brand is Ashland. And then my mother-in-law for my birthday on the 28th also, she got me a candle. It is um, Haven Street is the brand, and it is Pumpkin Patch is the scent and it has a wooden wick and it smells so good. It smells awesome. And then those are just the wallflowers that I had in my haul video. And these are the fall soaps that I had in the video as well. And this basket actually my mother-in-law got me for my birthday. She got me a bunch of things for my birthday that I really could have included in my haul video but I'm going to show them now. She got me this basket also along with that one right there. So she did a great job. She knows that I love my little country rustic look <laughs> farmhouse whatever you want to call it but um, this basket is so cute. It's like chicken wire. I love it. And then I just have this large vase over here that usually just has the sticks and the flowers in it, but I went ahead and added a leaf garland to it. And I love the way it looks. And then I just have my little fall um, scented wallflower right there. And then as you walk in through here on this stand over here, I didn't really decorate it too much. I just went ahead and added a fall um, leaf garland here. And then I put a picture of the grandparents with the kiddos at the pumpkin patch last year also. I like to um, put some of the fall pictures that we have from previous years in our frames. And then I just have this little basket right next to it that I got at Marshall's with 
It's actually a scarf, but it looks like a cute little cozy blanket with the plaid and then a pillow in there. And that, that scarf I actually got at Target last year. And that pillow came from Marshall's. It's actually a Christmas pillow, but I just turned it around. And then up above on the top of that, I have like another leaf garland, but you can barely see it in the frame right here. You can probably see it better on the other side. And this is where the kids just eat and color and Tony does his homework here. And I just stuck a little pumpkin inside of this little container right here. And actually this used to be like an old flower vase and I just stuck the pumpkin inside there. And then this little leaf tray that I got at the Dollar Tree, I just stuck, Layla's obsessed with um, Peppa Pig right now, so I just stuck all her little Peppa Pig characters in there on top of this Happy Halloween book. And then right next to their little kitty table, I have just this little stand over here with a lamp and a picture of Layla last year at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> My little cutie. And then under here, I just have one of the pumpkins that I stuck a bunch of different Dollar Tree floral arrangements inside of. This is just what our couch area looks like right next to that table. And this table, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This is like the wooden um, pallet table with the wrought iron wheels and if this is a farmhouse I don't know what is but I love it I think we got it from restoration hardware Let me just give you an overview of what it looks like and then on top of that table of course I got that mold cider candle and this was still the one that I had from the fall haul it's starting to go down a little bit but I keep burning it and I just, I can't stop because I'm obsessed with that one. And then this stays on here year round, um, but for fall, I just go ahead and stick some fall colored pumpkins and some leaves in there. And then this is what our TV stand looks like. I just went ahead and put a leaf garland on there, really simple. Um, right now I'm watching the Desperate Housewives Halloween episode. I've watched like this specific episode like a million times already and it's not even Halloween. But yeah, I just have this leaf garland up here. And then I still haven't put this sign outside so it's just standing right there for now. Um, there's a couple things that I want to do to my front door area before I go ahead and put this sign out so I still haven't got around to doing that yet so it's just right there still. So right next to it we have another smaller little entertainment stand or I don't know what you call this but um, this has a picture of the babies at the pumpkin patch. This was Layla's first time at the pumpkin patch so this was two years ago. And this picture frame, I actually just got it from my mother-in-law. I love it so much. It's so rustic. Like, look at that. Look at how you put your picture in there. And then it stands on this little wooden stand right here. But I love that. And then I just have this owl here that has a fall scented potpourri inside. So you see like little pumpkins and little orange slices that are dried up and pine cones and leaves. I love it so much and I've had it now for a while and you can still smell the potpourri. And then down here in this little crate with the burlap handles, I have just a hay bale and two pumpkins. And then this is from the Dollar Tree as well, this little fake planter pot. And then I just have some burlap in here also. And 
moving on to this little bar area over here I just have a wooden crate that I flipped over again from Marshall's and then the pumpkin that was from Marshall's in my haul video and this little um, green plant that I stuck some more fall flowers and leaves inside this is fake with a little pine cone right there and then I have this little basket right here that you've seen in the haul video and I just um, threw a bunch of the little pumpkins and gourds from Walmart these were all 97 cents each but I love the way that they look in that basket and then I'm burning my happy birthday candle that I got and these little wooden crates are from Michael's and I never actually did anything with them I was supposed to paint them and do something but I just left them um, the wood color and then I stuffed some little extra wine corks that we had and then in this galvanized steel tin I have some more wine corks with some wheat and this pumpkin candle and I love this little pumpkin charm on here um, it has a really long wick, but I've never burnt it and I don't plan on burning it. It just smells good without it even being burnt. And then just some fake little leaves in here. And then right next to that I have two more of these little crates from Michael's with the wine corks in them as well. And then over here, this is a peach Bellini candle from Bath and Body Works. And I just have it turned that way because it kind of has like orange and pink flowers on it. And then there's that sign that I got. And just some flowers here. And then I have this um, pumpkin, the ceramic pumpkin right next to that on the bar area. So let me just show you what it looks like. So in the kitchen, I still have my balloons from August 28th, and today is September 11th, and they are still floating. I can't believe it. They're still going strong. They don't even look saggy, so I'm just going to leave them there for as long as they want to stay in there. And then over here on our dining room table, I just have this wooden tray here that used to... Um, this came with my son's Melissa and Doug toys. Um, years ago and I went ahead and stained it so now it's a cute little wooden tray that I keep here on my table and then I just switch out the holidays and these are two more of the little hay bales that I got from the Dollar Tree and this galvanized steel uh, watering can I got from my mother-in-law for my birthday also and I'm so obsessed with it because it has the cute sunflowers on it and I love the galvanized steel um, watering can and then this scarecrow, he's not really cute, but I've had this guy for years and I just keep on pulling him out and packing him up every year and he's still hanging in there. So I just keep putting him up. I don't even know how many years I got, I've got. i had this guy. I think it was like one of my first fall decorations when I first got my house at like 17. <laughs> but he comes out every year and it's really sentimental at this point. And then hanging from our oven door, we have two um, pumpkin towels here. I got these from my mother-in-law also on my birthday. <laughs> she killed it with the fall decor for my birthday this year, and I absolutely love her. She's awesome. Uh, but these ones are the comfy ones, and they actually look like they might have came from, like, Marshalls or something. I picked them up for the kiddos to munch on. I figured it was a cute little touch after the video. They can go ahead and have a little fall snack. And I seen these caramel apples there, so I had to grab those too. I can cut those up for them and they'll enjoy their little fall caramel apples with their cute little chocolate chip muffins. And then moving on to our little coffee nook over here. This is just an overview of what it looks like. And in this jar over here, I just have that fall mix of the peanut M&Ms. And this is that DW apple cider candle that I showed in my haul on top of this little um, cupcake tier that I got at the Target Dollar Spot a while back. That's just a little plant back there, fake plant. And uh, of course our Nespresso coffee machine. And then I have, I decided to put the barn house back here and I love it. I love the way it looks. It's actually plugged in and you can see the lights glowing. 
I love the way it looks over here in the coffee nook. And then that sign, that sign was from Home Goods as well as the coffee. And guys, I tried the coffee by the way, and it is so good. This vanilla nut cream. Oh my gosh, I wish I got, would have got two bags, but I'm gonna go back and check and see if they have any more of this, um, of this flavor. It doesn't necessarily need to be in the same bag, but if, if it has the vanilla nut cream, I'm pretty sure it tastes the same. And then this is just that little jar of the candies. Of course, I could not leave it on my living room table after I was done with the haul because my kids would have destroyed this uh, jar of candy. And then over here is where I put that little bird cage looking um, fruit basket or fruit bowl is what they called it on the tag. And then I just have some coffee straws right here. These are the design ones with gold and white. And then I just have some fake um, leaves in the back and my pumpkin spice and then the fall mug. And then down here, I went ahead and put that Spice Spice Baby sign with some more fake greenery and some leaves. And then in this little um, galvanized tin, I have, let me go ahead and pull this out, I have my Nespresso pods. So these are the pods that go to my Nespresso machine. And then I stuck those two um, wine stoppers in here. Down there is the pumpkin one. Right over here on our pantry wall, I just have three of these signs right here. This one says Autumn Greetings, this one says Give Thanks, and then the next one says Welcome Fall. But they look so cute right there on that wall next to the pantry door. And then on top of my cabinets up here, I just have a white pumpkin, some leaves, that Hello Fall sign, and then another galvanized steel like flower tin with some fake flowers up there. And then on top of my fridge, I just have this bowl right here with some popcorn kernels and some more of that wheat. Other place that I decorate um, for fall is in the playroom and this is where I seclude like all of my blue um, and like teal color pumpkins in here because everything else I have pretty much going on like with the orange and the yellows and the reds um, so in here I just keep it with the blues but I just decorate this little IKEA stand um, it holds the kids books and inside these bins are a bunch of toys and then some of Antonio's like schoolwork over here on this shelf. And this picture right here, this is a picture of Layla last year at the pumpkin patch, um, rocking her little boho look. And this set of flowers I got from my mother-in-law for my birthday. And she had this bow on one of my baskets, so I just put it on this little glass jar back here. And this owl right here, if you open him up, he's a candle, but I already burned him all the way out, so I just still keep him as a decor piece even though the candle's all gone. And then over here, that's just their pig um, little picture that we always have on here, no matter what season or holiday it is. And then this is them two at the pumpkin patch last year. And then my mother-in-law also got me this. And this opens up and she got the candle that goes in here too. And I love it because it feels like an actual candle on the outside, but um, it's just the um, flameless candle that actually like flickers like a real candle so that one's so cute and she got me this for my birthday also I said she killed it with the decor for my birthday this year <laughs> she went all out and then I picked up these three pumpkins at the Target dollar spot they were each a dollar and um, I put them on top of these cute little stands that I actually use for when I do like a, um, a sweets table or a candy buffet these, this is what I use these stands for, but I thought it would be cute to put these pumpkins on top of the stands and display them in that little cubicle right there. And then up here, 
I got this pumpkin uh, piece, I guess you call it piece, but little vase down at the bottom. You can make these so easy. Um, but I got this last year at Marshall's and this was like $20 I think. And then this is them again at the pumpkin patch last year on Seder Farms. And then I just have this burlap piece up here that my mother-in-law gave me in my basket for my birthday. And this green ivy garland. And then that sign is always here no matter what. It says welcome to our home. And then these two candles on top of here. This one has like a, a gem on it or a decal, a little charm. And I just turn it around. But I got both of these from my mother-in-law in my baskets as well for my birthday. So that is everything on this little stand here in the playroom. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the playroom because it's super messy. As you can see right there, my daughter's birthday is in a couple days. And actually nine days to be exact. And we're, we got a lot of party prep going on in this room over here. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of our home. These days go by so fast, so just go ahead and pull out those fall bins and get to decorating. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have so many fun videos planned and I'd love for you to come along on the ride. But for now, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.